Western. As we head through tomorrow, we are seeing this uh, area of red flag fire warning starting to expire. So by 8 p.m. tonight, those winds will start to calm down here through the Central Valley. That's really where it's been gustiest with about 35 mile per hour winds. So thankfully on the tail end of that. And as we roll through tomorrow, this area high pressure moves off towards the east. That's going to allow some cooler weather. Also a little bit of fog to return for tomorrow morning. So this is good whenever we have a fire because fog at the coastline helps to import humidity. So that's what we want to see. So at 7 o'clock in the morning, some fog near the coast, a little bit there near the bay. Then as we roll through tomorrow, we're getting some sunshine uh, building back here into the bay area. Temperatures overall are going to be starting off in the 50s. A cool start here from the uh, Tri Valley over to the South Bay. San Francisco, I have it at 54. East Bay at 57. Daytime highs tomorrow with that fog of the coast will drop off a degree or two. That's going to put us at 80 in San Jose. Right over the East Bay, I've got it up to 77 in Vallejo, 78 in Fremont. Uh, through the peninsula, 76 here in Redwood City, San Francisco, 67 in the Mission, and through the North Bay, 86 in Ukiah, 74 in Mill Valley. Now, here is also some farther, further good news when it comes to our fire danger by this weekend. Some rainfall is expected to move in once we hit Sunday. Not a big storm, but we definitely could get trace amounts to about a quarter of an inch, and that's going to help us out along with some cooler temperatures. By this weekend in San Francisco, we're back down to the 60s and through the inland valleys. We'll go from these 80s down to 74 Saturday, 77 on Sunday. But uh, despite the fact that winds aren't extreme in that area, of course, Jessica, you know this is just very critical fire weather we're dealing with tonight. Yeah, that's for sure. It's really hard when it's starting to warm up like this and the conditions are so dry. Thank you very much, Jeff.